Hey, it's Steph. Thanks for watching today's video. I have an update for Panda's eyeshadows and this was originally created by Alexi, so I will have her linked down below, but everyone who participates kind of changes the rules according to their goals and panning style. Before I get into my rules and what shades I've been working on, if you're not familiar with my channel, I mostly do panning videos, which means I am working through my collection. Um, the ultimate goal is to finish things, but right now I'm kind of doing a lot of usage goals um, in this project. You know, I'm trying to hit pan on my eyeshadows, things like that. So if you're not subscribed, I hope you do so before you leave. And if you like eyeshadow content, give this video a thumbs up. I originally started this project working on four shades three of which I randomized from a spreadsheet that I have all of my palettes listed out alphabetically and then each shade in that palette listed within its palette. And then I would hand select the fourth shade. Over time, I've kind of tweaked it. I have merged into five shades and I have not been hand selecting. I've just been randomizing shades just because it's I was feeling it. I don't know. It just depends on my mood, I guess. So I've been working on five shades this past month and the ways that I can roll a shade out is obviously to hit pan. I would love to hit pan in all of my eyeshadows, but I also have a goal this year to touch as many products in my collection as possible. So if I don't hit pan, Within 15 uses, I have the option to roll it out. And also, if I have not hit pan or hit those 15 uses by three months, if a shadow has been in for three months, I have the option to roll it out as well. Now that that's out of the way, I will just get into it. The first three have been in for two months and then the other two were rolled in last update. So the first one I want to talk about is from my Profusion Mauve's palette. It's so reflective. <laughs> and it's the shade Ooh La La. I had six uses last update. I'm just going to be looking down at my phone where I keep track. This is where it was at with six uses. This is a beautiful lid shade. I will have looks popping up as I go, but I was able to use this five more times and this is what it's looking like. Hopefully you can see that teeny tiny baby pan. It is right next to like a glitter chunk. Um, so it's kind of hard to see which one is which, but there's definitely pan in there. So I'm so excited. After 11 uses, I hit pan in the shade. This moves around quite a bit, and I found that I preferred using my finger, but I knew I wasn't going to hit pan doing that. So I have been using a brush, but that means I kind of have to pack it on a little more. So that's just a note but this is rolling out and we are going to be rolling in a new shade to replace it. Next was from my Unearthly Dreamer palette. This is the palette here and I rolled in the shade Muse. This is what it was looking like last update. I had six uses. It is a beautiful, it's like a maroon, I guess, matte. Um, it, it looks red in the pan, but it actually translates a little cooler on my skin tone, which is really nice because, you know, reds are kind of scary. <laughs> I've only used it twice since the last update, so there's no visible progress. But this is it here. Um, I'm almost positive that I use this shade with Ooh La La. So hopefully you're okay seeing the same looks again on the screen. Um, I might decide not to share them, but oh, I forgot to swatch things. Okay. I'm just going to swatch what is staying in right now. 
So here's Muse. And then the next, okay, I'll swatch Lala. <laughs> I'll swatch it on my other hand. This is Oolala. It is a beautiful pink with like a golden flip to it. Again, it was just a beautiful lid shade. The next eyeshadow comes from my Sigma Hazy palette, and it is the shade Dainty. Um, this was rolled in a couple months ago, like I said, and I did state in my last update that I would keep it in no matter how many uses it takes because I have not hit a pan in an eyeshadow um, from Sigma before, let alone a matte formula. So last month I had 14 uses and I was able to use it 12 times since then. So I have a total of 26 uses and this is it here in the top corner. As you can see, no pan, but there is a giant dip. Hopefully you can tell, you know, it's so hard to see dips in matte shades, but maybe I can insert a photo. I don't know if you can see it like this. I don't know. I feel like I'm so close to hitting pan. Yeah. Um, this is a beautiful shade just to set my eyelids. It's a little lighter than my skin tone, so it's, it's really nice to kind of brighten before I do a look. This is what it looks like here as you can see it's very close to my skin tone um but i've also been able to use it as like an inner corner highlight a matte inner corner which is so beautiful i really do like that shade i'm glad i'm working on it and then the next two were rolled in last update the first one coming from my beauty bay metamorphic palette this is a gorgeous mostly metallic blue and purple palette and I rolled in the shade parallel so this is a gorgeous blue purple dark matte shade it honestly scared me when I rolled it in but it is not too bad <laughs> I have gotten five uses out of it so I'm only gonna open half of the palette because it's very reflective but this is the shade here as you can see, it barely looks touched at all. <laughs> so that's definitely going to be a 15 user. Um, yeah, I'm not going to hit pan in that anytime soon. But this is it swatched out. Just a really, really nice color. I mainly used it as like an eyeshadow wing. I don't remember if I used it to like deepen out my corners or anything like that. You'll see in the pictures. Um, and then the last shadow comes from my Beauty, no, Blend Bunny <laughs> Sugar and Grunge palette. And it is the shade Detention, which is a beautiful, I would say light to mid-tone purple. This is what it was looking like when I rolled in. It was untouched, just like that parallel shade. Well, no, I had used that parallel shade one time, but this was untouched and I have used it four times. So this is it here. There is a little bit of disturbance, but it's really hard to see. I love this shadow. Um, it is beautiful. I think one of the looks that I did, I put it like all over my lid with a shimmer topped over it, which I, I just love purple eyeshadow on anybody, but especially myself. <laughs> I just think it looks so nice with my cool undertones. So 
this is our old color story. We're rolling out the only shimmer, so I'm left with all mattes. So I decided to bring back my hand selected shade. I wanted to ensure that I got a shimmer to add on to this matte color story. And I was looking through all of my palettes and to be honest, like I have no shades that are even close to hitting pan. But then I got to my single eyeshadows and I found a single from Praise For Your Face that I had in a project. Um, it was not this round of Throwback 30, but it was the last round from Th Throwback 30, I'm pretty sure. And it's called Hidden Treasure. But it is this beautiful, shifty blue. It kind of shifts to like a nudey pink. It's really weird and cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to be rolling this in. As you can see, I have a dent in it. And so I think I will be able to hit pan. Oh, you can definitely see the shift in my swatch. Let's see here. Oh, the male ladies here. Okay, so yeah, look at that. Pink, blue, pink, blue. Oh, it's so cool. I don't think it necessarily goes with all of these. I really think this shade kind of throws off the whole color story. But with the pinky shift, it might look good with this alone, but I don't know. It's time to create a look, and I don't know what the heck I'm going to do. As you can see, I have a full face of makeup on. Um, just no eyeshadow, so sorry if that looks funky. But we are going to zoom in and create a look. Hello. <laughs> I feel like I say this every time, but I'm always worried that my makeup looks weird when I zoom in. <sighs> okay, obviously the first thing I'm going to do is put Dainty on my lid just to brighten it up a little bit and to get rid of any creasing I still have from my concealer. I do set it with powder, but... Obviously, that did not do much. Okay, and there is that. Oh, oh, I have like stuff on my fingers, and I was trying to. Um, get rid of the creasing under my eyes. I was so scared I just put eyeshadow on my eyes. Under eyes. Um, okay. What the heck am I going to do? Hmm. What am I going to do? Oh my gosh. I really think this red just like throws everything off. So I did purple all over the lid last time and I have not tried this all over the lid so I'm going to start with this in my outer corner and then see, just see how I feel after that. So I'm going to take this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, it's one of the OGs. One that used to be a dollar, and I'm gonna take Muse. That that shot didn't work. It was still all blurry. <laughs> and I'm just gonna pack this on the outer corner. I'm trying to decide if I should do like what shape I should do. 
I think I did a halo eye last time too, so I don't think I'll do that. I wonder what it would look like if I blended this out with the the purple. I think I did that last time too, actually. Huh. Am I getting, am I, what am I trying to say? Am I running out of ideas for these shades? Eyelash. I also have a very light um, coverage base on today. I just have my Tarte Maracuja tinted moisturizer on so I don't want to go too crazy because I am going to my parents house after this when baby boy wakes up <laughs> so we will see okay I'm gonna try to do purple the purple shade from uh for sugar and grunge and I'm gonna do it so light I'm gonna do it as light as I can with this alter ego fluffy brush. I'm going to tap off as much as possible and I'm just going to go really lightly in the crease. Because last time I lost this red in my look and I don't want that to happen again. So I really don't want to overlap them too much but I still need some sort of crease or tra like transition shade so I have literally like the lightest hand I'm barely touching my skin I'll probably go back and use that like white almost white shade and blend this out as well My eyes are not symmetrical, so my eyeshadow will never be symmetrical. <laughs> I have come to terms with that. Um, okay, I think I, I do need to bring the red up a little more. And for that, I'm going to switch to this Luxie 205 Tapered Blending. It already has some of that red on it from, you know, some looks. And I'm going to barely tap into this and kind of bring it up to the crease area. Because before, it was really just on the lid. But I am going to try to keep it just in the outer corner. I don't know why. That's just what I'm feeling. Yeah, I think that looks better. And I feel like the red has turned pink. You guys agree? Color theory is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go in with that single from Praise For Your Face. It is kind of chunky. So when they're chunky and I want to you know avoid fallout as much as possible I do kind of rub it on my finger a little bit before and it's still there's like plenty of product on my finger still but that kind of helps avoid some fallout and then I can just pick it up off of my hand Maybe I should have put this like, I'm going to try doing it directly to, onto my eye. I don't remember this being exclusively a topper shade, but maybe it is. Can you see the shift? Hmm. Maybe I should use a brush.
I have been occasionally using um, the AOA Tacky Base, like a glitter glue. So maybe I should try that with this. I also have a cream eyeshadow in my face of music, is it face of music project pan? Um, that I could use as like a base for this, maybe. Hmm. Okay, this is actually kind of cool. <laughs> you know me, I struggle with coming up with like interesting color stories. So this is kind of like out of my comfort zone, but I think it, it's coming out. It's coming out pretty well. So the last shade to use is from my Beauty Bay Metamorphic palette, that dark bluey purple. And I think... <sighs> Should I do a wing? Hmm. Yeah, let's do a wing. Why am I using the viewfinder for this? <laughs> My wings will not turn out great if I do that. kind of connect it to the bottom just right now and then close my eyes and start I find that I get more fallout when I glide the brush which makes total sense so at first I'm just gonna stamp it to get the shape and then I'll kind of fill in once I know I don't have like a ton of product Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, that's so pretty, you guys. So, I feel like I always talk about... Did I just ruin my wing? I think it's fine. So, I always talk about my baby. But I never talk about my stepson. So some of you might not know. Oh, look at this eyelash. I have a stepson. And he just turned 15. Can you believe that? <sighs> Literally yesterday he turned 15. Um... He was with his mom, so we only get to see him on the weekends, which I am so thankful for. I know some families, especially when it's the dad, like, you don't always get to see him, your kid that much after a divorce, so, um, for various reasons. I don't, I don't know where I'm going with that, but... I feel like we're very lucky that we get to see him on the weekends. Um, but I just can't believe that he's 15. Oh my gosh, sorry. I'm trying to get this eyelash. <gasps> and now it's stabbing me in the eye. Oh, I got it. Oh my gosh, it was like going 50 different directions. You're not going to tell. It was like stab. It was he was stabbing me in the eye. But 
but we, you know, I'm filming this on, um, a Friday, so we, he'll be dropped off tonight, and so we're gonna do some fun birthday stuff for him this weekend. He requested to go to the mall, <laughs> and he wants some new clothes for his birthday. He specifically requested that be his present from us to take him to the mall so he can pick out some new cool clothes, which I'm just, I think that's adorable. I won't tell him that because he's 15 years old. He doesn't want to be called adorable, but I just, I just love him so much. Um, I'm just really thankful that he's in my life and that I'm in his life because I, I don't know, we have a really special connection. He is on the spectrum. I don't talk about that a lot either. Um, so, and I am an Enneagram 9, which is like, I don't know a ton about Enneagrams, but, and I don't know if this has to do fully with it being an Enneagram 9, but I'm very like, intuitive and I can tell what he needs or what he's trying to say or like what he's feeling in a moment like I feel like we have a really special connection and I'm not trying to toot my own horn but I feel like he really needed that um and needs that and I'm just really thankful that I can be that for him when he's here um yeah, I don't know. I'm going to put that with the same shade on my lid in my inner corner. But he's trying to be cool. Um, you know, get some nicer clothes. Actually care about his appearance a little more. Um, I'm all for it. I'm all for it, man. He's getting into basketball. He's, he really wants a basketball hoop, but we don't really have a place to put it. And dang, those things are expensive. I think I might try to look on, you know, secondhand, but still, we don't really have a good spot for it. Um... Just adding a little more mascara. I'm still using my Beauty Bay High Key. It is trying out a little bit. Y'all, I've been in a funk. I don't know if you, if you follow me on Instagram. I do kind of share that because it's more like an everyday thing. Sometimes I share it on my stories how I'm feeling that day and I haven't really worn makeup um this is the second day I've worn makeup but before that I hadn't really worn makeup for two weeks I did wear makeup over the weekend like between those two weeks because I was visiting my parents when they were out of town, we went out of town with them just for the day. That was a disaster. If you follow me on Instagram, that was the day where I talked about being super overwhelmed and crying like five times. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, cause, but I mean, that's just me. I cry a lot. Um, I'm feeling a lot better, you guys, and this is helping my my brain i'm gonna zoom out <laughs> i'm very creative um that's just how i work and i was in a funk i was just in a really bad funk but this is helping me so much and i feel a lot better of course not only because i'm doing my makeup like i'm doing my makeup because i feel better but this helps even more like spark my creativity and i am so happy with how this turned out i oh, i think it looks really good what do you guys think i was a little worried that my new shade from priest for your face wouldn't really go with this color story but 
I'm digging it. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my ramblings. I hope you enjoyed this update and seeing my eyeshadows and watching me create this look. As always, I'm super happy with it. So if you enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, I hope you do so before you leave. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.